Welcome to the Joel Pettit Law Vlog. My name is Joel Pettit, and today I want to talk to you about CRSC timelines. First and foremost, I want to keep this video nice and short so you can get the information, apply it to your case, and move on. So, what does CRSC stand for? It stands for Combat Related Special Compensation. Who's entitled to it? Military retirees who have a VA diagnosed disability that's rated and that the DOD has determined is in fact combat related. How do they do that? They do it via a CRSC board. And, every, and there's not one universal one, there's one in every service. Now, what do the timelines look like? Well, the member submits the application, it takes about a week for the individual services to reply back to the member via a message to their electronic portal that every member has access to in every military service, and they say, got it. Then, 90 days. And the military departments are great at actually keep sticking to that 90 day timeline. So about 95 days till you get a determination. Then once they take that determination, they send it to DFAS, if it's in your favor, DFAS takes about 90 days because they have a lot to process at DFAS to get you paid. Now, the beautiful thing about all this is not that it's short and quick and takes you know no time at all, but that it's somewhat of a dependable timeline. But this of course, this timeline is set for members who submit packages that are complete that they have a determination and it gets sent to DFAS, that uh, 185 days. What we see and what Joel Pettit Law was created to do is to allow members to be, I should say, take advantage of that timeline and not have to resubmit over and over again. And the reason we see these, these resubmissions before we get our clients is because they're listening to so many people and reading so many blogs and forums and things where uh, other service members say, hey, I want to help you out. Here's what happened in my case. And once our clients have done that, they've tried to derive rules and get insight into the process. And that's very difficult when you don't know exactly what you're looking for. And that's where specifically my experience comes into play. Because I was an IPEB attorney at Camp Lejeune for a year and a half. Then I came to the FPEB at the Navy and now, most recently, right before I, I created Joel Pettit Law, I was on the TDRL unit, which all we dealt with was TDRL cases. So I've seen CRSC packages in all shapes and forms and all types of evidence. And I'll tell you this, there is no one size fits all. And that's why we preach that to all of our clients and all of our prospective clients. Because the one thing that we do not want to be known as at Joel Pettit Law is a firm that uses cookie cutter one size fits all solutions because we see your case and every potential case as if you will visually it's a game all the evidence is a game of tetris as the blocks fall and they change and, and everything's moving dynamically if one falls just incorrectly and someone says they were going to make a certain statement and they didn't or as you said this me the, the client says this medical record has this information but for some reason uh the medical information is lost or it doesn't make or a lot of times it doesn't make sense or there's no interpretation of imagery of an MRI or, or something like that, all these are changing at the at you know the drop of a hat, and you have to be dynamic in order to know where to place the next block. And we understand that's every case. No case is going to go perfectly. No case is going to be mundane and boring, even though most law is mundane and boring as seen from the outside world. But all the lawyers see it as it's a dynamically changing game all the time, and for a non-lawyer to deal with that is very difficult. But that's all we do. Because we, we like it. I love my job. And I love helping service members. But more so, I love being able to want to help guide people through this process. Because it's not that it's simply guiding you. It's also working with you to understand how your case specifically needs a, a special tweak, that special effort to make sure that the CRSC board or the IPEB or the FPEB or the post FPEB processes in those processes, if the adjudicators, they see that this is the piece of evidence that makes this case different, that makes this case meritorious and means that this service member deserves X, Y, what we're asking for, that's what we live for. So if you're having issues, if you're having problems dealing with this process, be it CRSC or anything else, please give us a call where you can reach us at 202-683-3600. You can visit us on our website, joelpettitlaw.com. You can contact, contact us uh, via our contact page at joelpettitlaw.com for slash contact, schedule a call, and discuss your case. It's so like I said, 
this is what Joel Pitt Law was created to do, was to take the burden off the member so that our clients can sit back and focus on healing, transitioning out of the military, or preparing to stay in the military if you want to be found fit, and being able to be engaged in this process. Because the last thing we want our clients to be are spectators to their own lives. Because anyone who says you should be a spectator in this process is giving you a complete and utter falsehood. That is not the way it should work. And if you're too busy reading regulations and trying to understand things that most attorneys can't understand, instead of focusing on the process and, and the parts of it in which you are supposed to be active, then you'll be looking at a target that isn't worth as much as this target over here is because no one's helping you understand the, uh, the difference between the two. And that's what we're here to do. We don't want you to waste your energy on things that aren't the highest value. And we know how to help you prioritize. We know how to help you get through your case. And please call us because that's what we're created for and we're here for you. Hope this helps. Have a good day.